Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you that how you can use list builder in Flutter. Okay, so I am going to use my ID called Android Studio. You can use Visual Studio too. That really doesn't matter. And now I am going to start a Flutter app and I am going to name it as a Flutter list. And I will deploy it to GitHub. You can get, I think deploying it to GitHub is not a big deal. But there will be some uh, 5 to 10 line of code which will be new to you all so I think deploying on github is not a good idea so I will uh, post it to gist github gist and from there you can copy that code and uh, use in your project or you can uh, if you found any error while following this tutorial you can copy that code from the gist but that will not give you some idea about that how this code is working so you should understand the logic and try to follow this from the video instead of copying that uh, from the gist because copying it from gist is very easy and but will not it will not teach you that how that is working so now to i got some boilerplate code and now i am going to just delete all this and i am going to write it from the scratch so the very first thing which i am going to delete is this one okay now i am getting some error because here is some test Okay, now I don't have any here. So now I'm going to start my project uh, material. Okay, and the second one is calling this main function arrow. Uh, okay, new material app. And now I think home and this home will be new app home. Okay, now this one, sorry. It will extend state and uh, not less stateful, and I will. It will return something related to state. So return new name should be app state, which is quite specific. Okay, app state, and it will extend state and. Now, here is only one error. I don't know if state uh, full it will good, or I can change this to app. No, it's fine. Okay, now I have only one error and I need to solve that. So it wants some we get in return. So I am going to return the scaffold. So now it's fine. And app bar, there will be simple app bar. And that app bar will be having some text, and that text will be my list app. Okay, and there will be a body, and something will be written in center, and there will be child new, new, and text. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, meanwhile, I should start my device because it takes some time. Okay, just it here okay that child will be having some new text app is working fine and let's deploy our app to emulator and let's see that it is working fine or not so you can see here uh, First one is three lines of code main. After that, state full is of only one line. I can remove all these, but leave that. And after this, you can see here is our app state state, and here is simple app bar and body. And now I will create a simple template for that each list, and I will use that item builder to build each list according to the data. Okay, now you can see app is working fine. Now I am going to use this cl class uh, each list, okay? Each, each list which will extend state stateless stateless, okay? And I need to override this method. Now it's good, no error, only except one. 
sorry 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 return new and this will be uh, what i want i want a card to be returned okay now we can see this a card has been returned there will be a child and that child will be new text okay i think there is some error some data okay now it is good this is our each list and i am going to use my hmm, container and i want here will be a child and that will be a list builder and in this list builder what i want i want that there should be uh, instead of being all the, okay okay it is build context in okay it is build context it is in index no error cool and what i want now uh, i want that is item count okay let's suppose that item is 2 and 20 okay and when i read on it you can see here are 20 data okay and now what i want i want that uh, uh, you can see each list this is the list style and here are 20 list uh, 20 item count that's why it went here are 20 list and this each list has been done 20 times and the, all the widget has been inserted in this list builder and you can see this inside the body there is container inside the container there is a list and there is inside the list there is a list view 20 list views okay and all these are done by this uh, list view dot builder you need not to do this the, the list view dot builder is for dynamic purposes dynamic data okay now suppose that uh, we have to do something else like uh, and first i am going to just change this and i am going to create something new container good one okay first i want to add some padding and that padding will be 8.0 okay and now what i am going to do is that first i want a uh, child and i want one single row and that row will be having some children at first i want that there should be a circular avatar and there will be some child and that child will be having some uh, text and that text will be like suppose a okay if i read on it you can see some there will be some changes okay now you got something okay now i want that in beside this image there should be something else for something there should be some like names in, uh, as you see in contact there is one circular image and beside that there is a name of that contact okay so i am going to use this text and text will be name of you user okay if i run it again you can see this okay you can see there is uh, that is a bit congested there is no space between the name uh, the text and circular avatar so now i am going to give some padding to the right so that that will look quite good i think 15 is uh, very much so 10 10 is good okay and but the font size is really not uh, very tin, tiny so font size to 20.0 okay now see the font size it's good so now i want that there should be some dynamic data instead of this i want there should be some name okay name value and instead of this i want that this should be related to name okay so i need to create this name here so let's let create this string name and a name is equal to s a g n sajan this is a indian name okay now you can see and instead of this sajan i want some dynamic so now i am going to each list create a constructor this dot name and i don't want to initialize it okay this is fine this is fine now what we, this uh, whenever we call this each list it wants some argument as name so it is showing some error so we want to pass some name actually we don't have any name so i am going to create a list which will having some 
string okay which will having some names so names and uh, i am going to pass something so the very first uh, i want to pass some like a b h i a b h i s h k abhi shake it's an indian name and and after that i want to pass this john uh john and after this i want to pass robert and i'm going to start with indian name sam okay and uh, i don't remember much foreigner names so i am going to use uh, indian name sita and geeta okay and uh, okay i think it's enough so leave this here i'm going to put in these six names six names three there's six names in single line so now what i want i want to pass this names in this okay so this dot sorry this dot names okay actually i cannot pass list i will need to pass a string so i am passing index means if it is running first time it will uh, index will be zero so it will pass abhishek and now if it is running second time index will be one it will pass john third time so robert index will be two and item count this time item count will be not 20 it will be six so we don't want to edit and modify this item count again and again so we are going to use this names dot length it will do it itself only so now i am going to control uh, restart my app let's restart it okay it is working fine now let's see if we add some more like uh, like like my name it is n i t i s s it is okay and restart this it will just restart it and wait for the change okay you can see this has been added here and it is fine and i hope that you got the idea that how this is working and there is one more feature in this list builder that you can use this reverse and one minute okay and this reverse will be reverse this list from uh, upward to downward to downward to upward as you can see this is this is at the um, uh, list start from the downward so reverse in reverse manner first one was abhishek at the top now first one was is abhishek at bottom and this was at the last still this was at the last but it is from the reverse order from the bottom to the top i hope that you got the idea how this is working and i will share this on gist and you can get the code from there thank you